we are back at Atreyu News. Breaking. Violent riots break out. Violent riots have broken out in Brazil after the first general strike in 21 years has paralyzed the nation. The nation really wasn't in that good a shape to begin with, but they seem to have went over the edge, so to speak. From Zero Hedge, less than a year after former President Dilma Rousseff was impeached and ousted for corruption, Brazil's economy continues to deteriorate at an alarming pace, and on Friday, Brazilian police tear gas demonstrators and rioters burned buses in the violent conclusion of a general strike, the first in 21 years, that shut down transport, schools, and banks in protest against the government's austerity reforms. Socialism at its finest once again, South America in disarray and imploding before our very eyes. Let's take a look. É contra a reforma da Previdência que vai acabar com o direito do trabalhador brasileiro de ter a aposentadoria. E também contra a reforma trabalhista, que retira os direitos conquistados há muitos anos pela população da, trabalhadora do Brasil. Uma série de reformas que estão colocando em cima da população, principalmente a mais humilde, uma carga que não é nossa, entendeu? A crise é internacional. Existem outras formas de se conseguir sair dessa situação, mas é sempre colocada a conta para a população pagar. It's sad. Take a look, good look, folks. This is what a socialist country looks like. Everything shut down, 90% tax. Had Bernie Sanders won the election, we could have expected the same type of thing. School shut down and tax skyrocketed, double, triple, quadruple. Thank God that idiot did not win. <clears throat> Boom. Antifa thug who rioted during Trump's inauguration gets what he deserves. What is he throwing in there? It looks like a book. Antifa member Dane Powell pleads guilty and will face three years in prison for rioting, assaulting police during the Trump inauguration. Boom. Looks good on you, asshole. A Florida man with the radical black bloc protest network pleaded guilty Friday to felony rioting and assault for his role in the inauguration day chaos in Washington, D.C. This is a perfect example of what Trump was saying. There can be no prosperity without law and order. And here it is. Dan Powell, 31 of Tampa, was the first to enter a guilty plea on felony charges brought against 212 protesters accused of rioting and vandalizing property during the January 20th melee surrounding President Trump's swearing-in ceremony. Scheduled to be sentenced July 7th, he faces a possible six years in prison for breaking windows and throwing a large rock or piece of concrete at officers after joining a mob of masked 
black bloc protesters who moved in mass across 16 blocks in about 30 minutes, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. The plea was announced by U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, Channing D. Phillips, and Peter Newsham, Metropolitan Police Department Acting Chief. Carrying hammers, crowbars, metal poles, and wooden sticks, the self-described anarchists broke windows at a dozen businesses, including Starbucks, McDonald's, and the Bank of America, pulled newspaper stands and trash cans into the streets, spray-painted buildings, and shattered the windows of a police cruiser and limousine. Federal prosecutors released a superseding indictment Thursday that brought additional felony counts against some defendants, including Powell, which brought an outcry from protesters. An outcry. So, you attack people, it's against the law. You attack the police, you know, that's a federal offense. You break property, or you destroy property, it's against the law. So you get sentenced for it, and then people outcry for protest. He wasn't doing anything wrong, he was in self-defense. Like, give me a break. Lock him up. JFK gave this tax speech today, Dems would riot like crazy. Income tax. Kennedy hopes to spur economy. If JFK gave this speech JFK gave this speech today, he'd be called insane by Democrats. That's because today's Democrats are socialists, Marxists, and communists. And so true it is. Liberals of today are not real liberals. Thomas Jefferson, he was a real liberal. These people are not. This guy hit it right on the head. Let's take a look. The worst deficit comes from a recession. And if we can take the proper action in the proper time, this can be the most important step we could take to prevent another recession. That is the right kind of a tax cut, both for your family budget and the national budget, resulting from a permanent basic reform and reduction in our rate structure, a creative tax cut, creating more jobs and income, and eventually more revenue. And the right time for that kind of bill, it now appears, in the absence of an economic crisis today, and if the job is to be done in a responsible way, is January 1963. Such a bill will be presented to the Congress for action next year. It will include an across-the-board, top-to-bottom cut in both corporate and personal income taxes. It will include long-needed tax reforms that logic and equity demand. And it will date that cut in taxes to take effect as of the start of next year, January 1963. The billions of dollars this bill will place in the hands of the consumer and our businessmen will have both immediate and permanent benefits to our economy. Every dollar released from taxation that is spent or invested will help create a new job and a new salary. And these new jobs and new salaries can create other jobs and other salaries and more customers and more growth for an expanding American economy. Instead of being permanently saddled with excess planned capacity and the budgetary deficit that is created by this means, our goal must be full capacity and full employment and the budgetary surpluses that that kind of employment and capacity can produce. Wow. What a powerhouse speech from a real Democrat. JFK, before Trump came along, in my opinion, is the last real American president and when he was killed it represented the successful hijacking of America by the industrial military complex Trump represents the regression of the power back to the people the era of light has come <laughs>